as it's been a minute since you had a uh, low quality video i figured you needed one <laughs> i want to give an update on uh, the zoning case there's been a lot of questions and i think the reason that we've had some questions is this zoning case got denied and a lot of people thought it was done what happened is it got denied um and it has came back up so it got it's been reapplied for the same piece of property. A lot of people have thought that this is a different case. It's, it is a different case, but it's the same piece of property. And really it's a trivial change from what got denied last time. So hopefully that answers a little bit of questions. What happened with this thing recently is um, June 14th, 2017, a couple of uh, a day and a half ago or something like that. It went through zoning and got approved um, for mainly uh majority a5 um the uh talked to councilman shingleton the next day and uh he vowed that on june 20th when it goes to city council that's the final decision on the zoning case on june 20th when it goes to city council he's gonna postpone the case till mid-august um in mid-August, uh, I guess in, in the meantime, as it's postponed, it's going to go back to planning. Um, there's a super smart lady down there, Miss Dana, that's going to work with the developer and hopefully come up with a better concept plan. The concept plan will take into better consideration the uh, abutting and adjacent properties um, and what's on those existing properties and the lot sizes there and then also consistency with the comprehensive land use plan which shows um, half acre one acre uh, residential um, neighborhood residential over here so all that stuff's going to be into consideration with the existing structures the school site and we'll be able to see um, on that concept plan the roads going through and, and all that stuff uh, they also said that they would keep us posted on that process so we'll uh it's it's open for us we'll keep you guys posted as it goes one good thing or there's a couple good things here one um district seven shingleton uh his assistant director roop um the whole zoning department down there has been patient and uh uh I respect their role down there. Um, all the neighborhoods in the area, it, it's crazy the response we've gotten. Uh, you know, we've gotten support from our friends down here in Marine Creek. They've got a, a special uh, uh, tax apartment thing that they're fighting down there, but uh, these are good folks here that have gave us support. Um, we've had support and interest all the way up to the resort. Um, the Orchards, Harborview Estates, uh, Secret Harbor, Harbor, of course, Lake Country, um, Park Drive folks, met them the other day, super nice folks, North Fork Estates, uh, all kinds of, uh, really, it's this whole Fort Worth, they call it the, uh, the Northwest, the far Northwest sector. But everybody's really came together it's kind of nice to feel that everybody cares and um, there's a sense of community and we might be on the right path here as we develop on down the lake uh, you know this isn't um, this isn't a done deal I'll say that it's it's been going for a while and it's a bumpy road so we'll keep you posted on it and we'll definitely watch this thing uh, you know again to be clear where this property is because it has been a little confusing so boswell bailey's here boat club road turns over here this is the uh possum lodge location lake country estates harborview estates uh north fork estates park road boswell bailey this chunk of land from boat club boat club is gonna the name changes to um, something ranch road. It goes all the way and connects to Bonds Ranch Road, but it's this chunk of property here, essentially like this. So this 866 acres is, is the chunk of land we're talking about. Um, and that's, that's what everybody's been interested in. And that's what this case is. It's a, 
Um, it's the same chunk of land that we're talking about here. Thank you guys. Let me know if you have any questions. We'll get back to you and we'll keep you posted.